A showdown is looming in Mombasa County this weekend as two factions, the Kieleweke and Tanga Tanga teams, announced their attendance at the coastal region BBI consultative meeting to take place at the Tononoka grounds. This after a section of leaders allied to the deputy president, William Ruto, while addressing the media confirmed that they will, from henceforth, fully participate and contribute towards the success of the already organized BBI rallies across the country. After consultations as leaders, we have decided in order to pursue the original spirit of the BBI, irrespective of our concerns against the use of public resources in a process that has been blessed with full nationwide consensus, that we will participate and, where necessary, take charge of these public rallies. Mm -hmm. So we are saying, see you in Mombasa mm -hmm. on Correct. Saturday. In a joint statement read on their behalf by Senate Majority Leader Kipchuma Murkman, the leaders said the participation will include mobilizing constituents in all the 290 constituencies. By our participation in these rallies, we shall redirect the BBI conversation to people-centric issues such as economy, unemployment, social justice, rule of law, and human rights, among others. There needs to be just one bridge that we are building across Kenya. So in that spirit, uh, we believe that we should all join hands in these different BBI rallies. Two BBI meetings have so far been held in Kisi and Kakamega counties, where opposition leader Raila Odinga has been the chief guest. But Ruto's allies who have had reservations about the process have given them a wide path, accusing Odinga of using the rallies as a campaign vehicle for 2022. Instead of focusing on issues affecting the people, the two rallies focused more on discussing and demonizing one individual in a manner that contradicts the letter and the spirit of the BBI process. This contradictory approach has caused immense confusion. Tunataka hii BBI hiyo ya kubuild bridges na ukijenga bridge lazima uwe na hifadhi ile bridge ilikuweko awali. However, in a quick rejoinder, ODM party through its Secretary General Edwin Sifuna has dismissed claims that it is hiding behind the BBI report to craft a 2022 power strategy aimed at popularizing Odinga, saying he has not declared interest in vying for a post yet. The statement reads, and I quote, we are not presently concerned with the politics of 2022. While the whistle is sounded, we shall come out to boldly state our plan the nation for purposes of the 2022 election. End of quote. The change of tune by the Tanga Tanga faction is likely to further complicate the ongoing consultative meeting. Many foresee drama in public as the political rivals are anticipated to have a war of words in public. Stage is set for the showdown in Mombasa on Saturday. Daniel Karioki K24 TV.